Proverbs 12 verse 25 Anxieties in the heart of men causes depression, but a good word makes it glad. Do you struggle to get through the day because you are consumed with worry? If you do, I want you to know you're not alone. There's an endless of issues in this world and in our own personal lives that keep us in fear, worry, and anxiety. These feelings can consume us and distract us from living the life God had created us to live and also prevent us from hearing God's voice in our lives. The good news is, the Bible has something to say to us about our struggles with fear, worry, and anxiety. Jesus commanded us not to worry about the length of our lives or the future. In James 4 verse 13 to 15, the Bible tells us, Look here, you who say today or tomorrow we are going to a certain town and will stay there a year. We will do business there and make a profit. How do you know what your life will be like tomorrow? Your life is like the morning fog. It is here a little while, then it's gone. What you ought to say is, if the Lord wants us to, we will live and do this or that. Fear is a natural human emotion, but those that experience fear will have a hard time hearing from God. The Bible tells us in Isaiah 41 verse 10, Don't be afraid, for I am with you. And in Psalm 121 verse 1 to 2, the Bible says, I will lift up my eyes to the mountains from whence shall my help come. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Major life challenges can also cause many of us to suffer from anxiety because most of us find it very challenging to cope with constant changes in our daily life. But according to the Bible, change is also part of God's plan. Therefore, believe in God and have faith God will help you to know that there is no such thing as a bad change. All changes are part of God's plan, and so all changes will be accepted and cause less anxiety. In Jeremiah 29 verse 11 to 12, the Bible tells us, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Today we are going to spend time focusing on Bible promises about fear, anxiety, and worry. God offers us every day in His goodness and love through His Word. Confess these scriptures over your loved ones and yourself. Remembering that as you confess them, no weapon formed against you will prosper. Isaiah 54 verse 17. Let's begin. Genesis 15 verse 1. Some time later, the Lord spoke to Abraham in a vision and said to him, Do not be afraid, Abraham, for I will protect you, and your reward will be great. Deuteronomy 20 verse 3. He will say to them, Listen to me, all you men of Israel. Do not be afraid as you go out to fight your enemies today. Do not lose heart or panic or tremble before them. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 So be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid and do not panic before them. For the Lord your God will personally go ahead of you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. Joshua 1 verse 9 This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. 1 Chronicles 28 verse 20 Then David continued, Be strong and courageous, and do the work. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord God, my God, is with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. He will see to it that all the work related to the temple of the Lord is finished correctly. 2 Chronicles 20 verse 17 But you will not even need to fight. Take your positions, then stand still and watch the Lord's victory. He is with you, O people of Judah and Jerusalem. Do not be afraid of discourage. Go out against them tomorrow, for the Lord is with you. Isaiah 35 verse 4 Say to those fearful hearts, Be strong and do not fear, for your God is coming to destroy your enemies. He is coming to save you. Isaiah 41 verse 13 For I hold you by my right hand, I the Lord your God, and I say to you, don't be afraid, I am here to help you. Matthew 6 verse 26 Look at the birds, they don't plant or harvest or store food in barns, for your heavenly Father feeds them, and aren't you far more valuable to Him than they are? Matthew 6 verse 34 to 35 so don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. Philippians 4 verse 4 Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. Philippians 4 verse 6 
Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Philippians 4 verse 7 Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. This peace will guard your hearts and mind as you live in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 verse 19 And this same God who takes care of me will supply all your needs from His glorious riches, which has been given to us in Christ Jesus. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing, fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Colossians 3 verse 15 And let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts, for as members of one body you are called to live in peace and always be thankful. Let us pray. Dear Lord, in this moment I find myself struggling with worries. I know this is not your will and that you wish me to lay my burdens at your feet. I know I can turn my cares over to you who have died on the cross to set me free. I choose to trust in you, Lord, to focus on you and to leave behind my worries and my cares as there are nothing in your light. When I find myself falling to my knees, let it be in front of you, Lord, with your name on my lips. Dear God, you will ease my burden and let me live free. You know that we live in a crazy and chaotic world. You also know my struggles in my daily life. When life gets to be too much, please help me. Please come to me. Calm my thoughts and emotions. Open my heart with your peace, your comfort, and your wisdom. Help me not to live in fear. Please reduce the feeling of fear and anxiety that plague me. Help me to rest in you and trust you as I navigate through this broken world. Father, I come to you today in the name of my Lord Jesus. Amen.